see yeah. those words that I've used. Safaricom, I tried calling you. So Google, using its crawlers and technology, will look for websites who have written content in this with these particular mm -hmm. words. All right. You see? Yes. So if you're going to index your, um, to optimize your website, mm -hmm. you're going to ask yourself, I am in uh, agribusiness solutions. Mm -hmm. I am in real estate. Mm -hmm. Number one, what, which words exactly do people use while searching for real estate solutions? Just to get uh, so that your viewers or your audience, uh, your target market can yes. easily access your content. Just yes, so you yeah. must ask yourself, which exact words do mm. people search? All right. Let's look yes. at the CEO's breakfast annual summit. What is it mm. all about? And you guys celebrated the third annual uh, yes. uh, breakfast summit just uh, on February. The other, the other on yes, February on February year. 7th, we yes, were so at Move and Pick. All right. Tell us more about uh, the breakfast, the CEO's breakfast, and what it's all about. Well, um, I'm always excited anytime I talk about the CEO's breakfast because um, I got the idea in November 2017. Um, but back then, it was Young CEO's Breakfast. And uh, I had just cleared campus in 2016, um, started business, mm. no money, no, no resources in terms of networks, and I didn't have anything to leverage on. And um, I thought business was tough. You know, you know that the, 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 the political temperatures in this country were at the highest. You know, holding one election after the other, and okay. all those, and business mm -hmm. was disrupted though not more like uh, during this COVID-19 season. So I thought, uh, apart from me, there must be other people in business who are young like me mm -hmm. and have experiencing, uh, have experienced these challenges. But then I had an office at, um, at uh, this corner house. Mm -hmm. And I thought, how about I invite like 10 or 20 friends who are in business, then we discuss how we can do business and how we can support each other, how we can pull our resources together. I access your networks, mm -hmm. you access mine, I refer clients to you and all that. I mm -hmm. thought it would be a good idea to hold a young CEO's breakfast. Absolutely. I was doing other events before, mm -hmm. which were not really working well. You know, we did the Let's Talk Business series, mm -hmm. I had done the Inverse Lounge mm -hmm. and all that. So I posted that on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And within the first week, more than 50 people registered. Mm -hmm. I had uh, booked a venue at uh, New Stanley, the one mm -hmm. at, um, you know, Kimathi, Kimathi Street, the junction between Kimathi Street and mm -hmm. uh, Nyata Avenue. So the numbers were overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Over 300 people registered, uh, that is up to December. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow. I didn't even plan to have a speaker because it was just a conversation. So I called my friend, Dashan Chandare, mm -hmm. we know him. I told him, I have these young CEOs who are planning to come for my event. Could you come and talk to them? He's like, yeah, yeah, I, I'll, I'll be more happy to come and, and, and join them. Mm -hmm. So, and then I invited, uh, I invited Mirin Joki. Um, she runs Glasshouse PR, one of the leading PR companies in the country. Mm -hmm. And um, other speakers started applying. Mm -hmm. So... Um, we got the former partner for general, the, 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 the former MD for General Electric Africa, okay. um, that is Vishal Agawal. So the three became the speakers. We held the first year's breakfast. Okay. Over 90 people came. You know, I was planning for 20, but over 90 came. We held a very big event at uh, Lyco Regency. That is in 2018. And then I thought, what, is, what else can we do? Can we make this an annual event? Mm -hmm. So we organized it again in 2019. And then I discovered I was targeting young CEOs. But even people who are in, you know, running multinationals, regional, reader, well uh, regional leaders, well-established well business people, and people even from other countries, mm -hmm. you know, from Uganda, Ghana, Nigeria were coming. I thought, uh, this is a good idea. We make it annual. So we decided every February 7th, mm -hmm. we will be hosting the annual CEOs breakfast. So it is stopped from being... Uh, the young CEOs breakfast to annual CEOs breakfast. And um, this year, early this year, on February 7th, we held a very big event mm -hmm. at uh, Move and Peak Hotel in Westlands. We had uh, big entrepreneurs like Vimal Shah of Bitco Africa, George Washuri, mm -hmm. and many others who came and participated. So it was now an inclusive of just entrepreneurs. Yes, it is an event for business mm -hmm. builders. Okay. So you don't, you do not necessarily need to be running your own business mm -hmm. as long as you're interested in building your business, either you or someone else. 
or business or, on, or on you want that. to build you j can just okay come. On still on st still on that i would like to find out how important is it when it comes to career uh, development or just engaging on these spaces of network networking for young people who want to get into business or even who are still in employment okay back in um in arab where i come from eh? <laughs> we say i don't know you don't people well, we are the resources <laughs> you know um your network is your network absolutely you know, that is what basically it means because um what you want mm -hmm. i may have it mm -hmm. or i may know somebody who has it and by you being connected to me i'll definitely be able to connect you to the opportunity so leveraging on your network's network mm -hmm. That is how we work mm -hmm. at the CEO's breakfast. Mm -hmm. So when we come, apart from learning, what we usually tell our participants is the person seated next to you mm -hmm. on the table because it's a breakfast table. You know, we have nice breakfast items we are enjoying. So the person seated next to you may have much more to offer than the person on the panel. So we tell people when we come to the CEO's breakfast, the main reason we are there is to number one, network. Mm -hmm. Number two, share our failure and success stories boldly without being judged. You know, we are all mm -hmm. entrepreneurs, we build businesses, we fail, we make mistakes and all that. We talk about those mistakes. Mm -hmm. If I tell you how I bootstrapped a particular problem in my business, it may help you bootstrap uh, the same problem in your business. And the same thing, if you tell me how you overcame a particular problem in your business, I will be able to know how well, I will, actually I will, I will build solve confidence. it. Yes. So that is number two. Mm -hmm. Number three, we have mentors in the business. Somebody like Vimal Shah, somebody like George Washuri, somebody like Dashan Chandaria. These are people who have been, been in business and they have built magnificent businesses. They are very well established and they can hold our hands and mentor us. So we meet mentors in, mm -hmm. in the CEO's breakfast and they are able to share with us how to exactly build and scale our business. At okay. the same time, mm -hmm. we have investors All right. who come to the event and maybe you you are planning to pitch to a particular investor we have angel investors we have venture capitalists coming mm. to the event and they have actually invested in entrepreneurs who come to the CEO's, breakfast. The CEO's breakfast so that is exactly All what right. we so do. for the person who is watching this and wondering who is eligible to actually be part of the, the CEO's breakfast and is there amount of fee for any registration how does it go how does one go about it so of course nothing is free oh. <laughs> And, uh, you know, these hotels are very expensive where we hold uh, the CEO's breakfast. So um, anyone can come. Mm -hmm. But majorly, if you are building a business, mm -hmm. it is an event for business builders, not just CEOs. So if you're building a business, you want to learn, to learn how exactly to scale, mm -hmm. to build and scale. Yes, we talk about uh, how starting and all those things, but majorly we talk about building and scaling you have a business you want to know how to build your team you want to know how to market well you want to know how to put the right processes or you're looking for clients or you're looking for an investor or mm -hmm. you're looking for a mentor or you're looking at a place where you can get peers in business where you can share uh, stories and uh, and and engage and mentor each other mm -hmm. you are welcome okay. so we have had established business leaders we have employed executives, senior executives in business, and startup entrepreneurs. That is our main target. But right. if you are there, you are a business student, mm -hmm. you want to come, or you are there, you run a B2B business, or you are employed in a B2B business, just come. There is a lot of clients there. All right. Yes. What would you say in an overall perspective, what does it take to just have a good business role? Well, I'm still learning, but yes. to run a business, uh, number That's one, you have to- a successful to, business. Yes. You have to have the will. Mm -hmm. You know, yesterday I was talking to an entrepreneur and she was telling me, you know, she runs a real estate company. She is based in the U.S., but she helps U.S. Uh, clients get land in Kenya. That mm -hmm. is Kenyans in the U.S. And she was being assassinated. You know, character assassination is real in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And I was telling her, those things we just laugh. Mm -hmm. Somebody posts some things about you and everything, as long as they don't have the facts, you laugh. So you just have, number one, to be very committed and very focused. You have to know, number one, what are your goals? Why exactly did you start this business? And what are your objectives? Number two, what are your key performance indicators? Mm -hmm. Then you need, 
No, when you know all of that, eh, you have to be very focused. Because there will be so many opportunities crapping every light, right, left, and center. And they will be calling for your attention. You will also have people who are throwing stones at you. You know, people do not throw stones to trees that do not have roots. So if you are fruitful and people can see your progress, they are going to be throwing your, your stones and everything. So you have to be very focused. Mm -hmm. Number three, you must put the right processes for your business and you have to have the right people, mm -hmm. the right team, the right people in your team so that they can actually actualize and work on, you know, your service offering and your business. Okay. Yes. So for someone who's watching this, and you've mentioned something which is very important about image assassination, character assassination, mm -hmm. for a business which has gone through that or mm -hmm. even an, at an individual level whereby mm -hmm. I'm offering services or I'm my own business, mm -hmm. which is probably my personality or just services that I offer, how do I move past uh, character assassination or even just uh, uh, an image which is being uh, distorted out here? No, number one, eh? whatever I'll say here may work or may not work for you. <laughs> so <laughs> what happens is, eh? um, number one, do things right. Mm -hmm. Run your business right. Treat your customers well. Mm -hmm. Do what you say you will do when you say you will do it. When you mm -hmm. tell your customer, um, I'm selling you land and the title deeds will be out by 25th of September. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is not your own fault. Maybe the land registry will not pr give you the title deeds in good time. You just have to be to come back to your clients and tell them this is the situation. We may not be able to get the title deeds on 25th. We'll get it, them on mm -hmm. on a particular date. And this is an advice from the land registry. But mm -hmm. if you just keep quiet and these people have invested hard earned money with you, mm -hmm. they're going to get angry. Okay. So number one, speak well with your customers. You know, a customer is a, like a baby. Treat them well, offer your services well and always keep up to your promise. That mm -hmm. is number one. Number two, when you are clear and clean, you have to worry about these people assassinating your character mm -hmm. or anything. You know, okay. these things happen. And as long as, you know, if somebody has an issue with you and they have posted it online, mm -hmm. what do you have to do with it? You know, if they have the actual facts, they have the conversations, maybe they paid money to you, they have the receipts and everything, direct them to the director of criminal investigations. You know, Facebook does not prosecute people. They should come with evidence, yeah? Yes. So <laughs> these things, you do not have to, everyone say something about mm. you, you stop, and now you go into Start depression. Reacting. Yes. All right. But now... <laughs> Of course, when it happens for the first time, you have to get stressed. You have to start, um, you know, focusing on them. You have mm. to get depressed and all that. Okay. I have been, my character has been assassinated in 2017 a lot. Mm -hmm. So right now, if you post anything, I don't care. I don't even see you. Mm -hmm. So you, you, these things you have to so get. So the time you, you learn how to respond to Definitely, because issues. these things will come every other day. You get used and then... Okay. Then you see them and you laugh because ah. you'll see them every other day. And okay. if you go like a whole quarter, that is three months without seeing somebody mm -hmm. throwing stones at you, then definitely you're doing something wrong because you have to get haters. All right. So let's look at a couple of achievements that the company has faced uh, yes. when, come to, when we talked about Invesc. Yes. So uh, one of the things that I'm really happy about is, um, you know, of course, the success of the annual CEO's breakfast and getting over 14,000 magazine subscribers mm -hmm. who read our magazine those are the achievements that i'm always happy about all right yes okay uh, as we wind up let's look at a couple of challenges and how we can just overcome them and uh, from there you could just give us your last re remarks i think i've talked about <laughs> challenges somewhere there are a couple in the of line, so many huh? years yeah yeah you uh, just we had to like have a cocktail we had a cocktail of, cocktail of everything in the conversation yes. so um Let's well, look at two, only two, and then the two challenges. Yeah, yeah, um, the main two challenges. One, yeah. I had wh when I launched Inverse on that year, March two thousand and seventeen. Mm -hmm. I had, um, you know, I would call them overboard expectations. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone goes into business mm -hmm. thinking they will make money. Okay. There is no money in business. First, you will fail. You will become broke. You will get into debt. And people will run away from you and they will not understand you. I didn't know that. So what happened is that um, in 2017, I launched Invesc mm -hmm. with a team of 11. And our goal, we were planning to make a lot of money. We didn't make money. Okay. And um, of course, that meant we had to, I had to get issues, into issues with people. Because yeah. instead of making money, we made losses. Mm -hmm. 
And what we had agreed with, with what we had agreed with the team is that um, after this this event, mm -hmm. this is the money we are going to make. We are supposed to make I think three point one four two million, and this is how we are going to share. So you know we didn't have money, so we wanted to invest our time and and our expertise, pull out a very good event, and once we make the money, we mm -hmm. share in a particular ratio. Mm -hmm. Now we made the loss. Oh, wow. So we had not planned on how to share the loss. Mm -hmm. We planned on how to share the profits. The profits. So, and when you made the loss, then everybody, not everyone, of course, but some people came claiming mm -hmm. for their money. Absolutely. Yes. And then I was left with over 250 shillings debt. And uh, that was really tough. That's human nature. Sorry? I think that's human nature. We always want to, s yes. to sit on the so positive aspect of a business. Within a month, everyone was gone. Okay. And I was... I got into depression. Mm -hmm. Some of those guys actually took me to court. Okay. Yes, and it was really tough. All right. But I didn't die. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Yes. So for someone who is watching you, what would be your? Uh, I would like you to give last remarks on someone who probably has lost their job uh, mm -hmm. during this time of COVID-19 pandemic, and they are wondering, is business the next thing for me? What should I do? And probably they have got in, gotten into depression. That is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The first thing, yeah, and, and I'm very really happy, today is on 7th. Uh, on 8th, yes. I, I overcame depression on 9th September 2018. Okay. So I understand completely what it means to be depressed. And uh, one thing you need to understand, eh, as long as you wake up in the morning, you can breathe. Every morning I wake up and feel myself breathing. That means I'm alive. So as long as you're, you're alive, that is a gift from God. That means your end is not there. That means if they are watching, that means they are still alive anyway. Yes. So if you are alive, eh, the most important thing for you to do after recognizing that your life has not ended mm -hmm. is you go back to the drawing board. Number one, define yourself. Who are you really as a person? What is your identity? You know, Christians, as Christians, we say our identity is in Christ. But at the same time, you, are, you need to ask yourself, eh, what meaning do I want to derive out of this life that I have. And then after that, you ask yourself, now I don't have a job, my business died, what is the next thing for me? Uh, you need to look at your capabilities. What skills do you have? Write them down, don't, don't put them in your head. Write them down, A up to Z. When you write them, you need, out of all those skills, what are your top skills? Okay. Take five of them. Then ask yourself, what are the opportunities in all these skills? Within the skills that I have. The skills that you have. Okay. What can you be doing? Maybe you are looking for a job. You don't want to become an entrepreneur or you want to start a business. Number first, you need to ask yourself, what can I be doing with these skills? Mm -hmm. Then the other most important thing eh, is you have to dig deep down and ask yourself, who do you want to be? Right. You know, like you have said, some want to get a job. Others want to build a business. Mm -hmm. So when you ask yourself the kind of job you'd want to, to, to have or the kind of business you'd want to, 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 to build, then set goals into that to line. That particular in that particular area. line. Yes. Okay. People say there are no jobs. Mm -hmm. There are jobs. There are just no right people for these jobs. So improve your skills. There's so many organizations offering free courses. Oh, wow. You know, just because you graduated with a degree or a certificate or a form four certificate or or a master's and PhD and everything, the world is changing. Mm -hmm. Learn every single day. Mm. Read things on the internet. So there's the window of opportunity. Yes. And then stop yes. being lazy. Stop being lazy. All right. Most people are dying because of laziness. Today okay. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you something that I did. I've bought a couple of things online during this pandemic period. When you look at people selling things online, go and inbox them. Ask for a particular item. They will be so excited and they will <laughs> reply to you. Okay. Now, maybe the exact product that you want, they do not have. Mm -hmm. Ask them if they have. Oh, Most wow. of them either keep quiet or just disappear. You don't know where they go. So I've bought around five items mm -hmm. online. And I didn't buy them from the people that I first interacted with. Okay. Because some said, uh, I will get back to you. They never got back. And that is what most people do not do. So what I usually tell people is, uh -huh. eh, uh, we always know uh -huh. what we need to do. Uh -huh. If you have a client, follow up with them. All right. 
make that call send that email maybe you are be persistent that be is. persistent but take action you know oh you right. can only be persistent if you take it's action absolutely do what you know you're supposed to do put, to bootstrap your life okay thank you very much patrick for creating time to talk to us about matters pertaining content marketing you're much and uh, uh, we've learned a couple of other things when it comes to matters pertaining business so i would like you to use this opportunity to give us your social media handles on how people can reach out to you if they have further uh, questions or even just uh, engaging with you i'm always in all social media platforms, but I prefer Facebook, Kimani Patrick. Simple as that. Yes. You will find a page it has, I think, 6,300 6, likes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just text me, but don't text hi. <laughs> you know, small talk is not my best thing. Why? Yeah. You had just, just, even my number is there. Text okay. me, call me. Don't call. Just, just text. All right. Yes. And send a whole message. If you send a hi, I will read it and delete <laughs> Okay, there is Patrick, yeah. uh, Patrick Kimani there, uh, CEO on, on Inverska magazine and a couple of own, uh, and another uh, Calstick Cal Cal yes. Cal uh, group, which is a uh, marketing agency. We're talking about content marketing. And remember, if you reach out to him, make sure you just go precise to the point, <laughs> as he says it. At Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media platform. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me equally across all my social media handle. Make sure you don't touch that. I'll be coming up with another interview. Thank you.